I greet you, my dear viewer, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And uh, I hope that you are fine and the Lord has been with you. I'd like to welcome you in uh, 100 uh, days of prayer series. And uh, today being day 69, we want to thank God for this far that it has, he has brought us. Indeed, it has been a wonderful experience to me as I read this. And I hope that you have experienced the same and the Lord touch has been upon you. And uh, as we have been, been praying each and every time, I hope that the Lord has been uh, with you and uh, you have been experiencing the same. At this moment, I would like to thank you for joining us and for staying connected. How wonderful and uh, um, how marvelous it is when we join together in our homes, in the confines of our homes and our rooms and uh, in the comforts of our uh, sofas and uh, also maybe some of you are watching from your offices and uh, you hear the word of God. It is wonderful and we would like to thank the Lord for this experience because it is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. At this moment I would like to welcome you uh, so that we can pray and uh, hear from the Lord's word and today's uh, uh, topic is shine his light, shine shine his light sorry for the shrubbing from where i come from so i'm sorry for that but um, i hope you have gotten our uh, title for today shine for uh, shine his light and uh, the key text for today is uh, matthew 5 14 to 16 matthew 5 14 to 16 shall we humble ourselves so that we can connect to heaven our loving Master, we thank you for this day. We ask of your presence to be in our presence at this moment. And as we read your word, may you interpret for, it, for us, O Jehovah God, and may we understand it, and may uh, this truth from thy scripture set us free and enable us to draw closer unto thee. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The scripture says in the book of Matthew 5, 14 to 16, remember, we have been looking at um, the Beatitudes uh, for the uh, good part of last week or from last week, we have been looking at the Beatitudes which have been coming uh, in line with uh, our uh, title or the emphasis that we are having, a time for heart searching, especially during quarantine and during this time of pandemic when uh, you are encouraged to stay home, it is a time that you uh, search your heart and you uh, have a time with Jesus Christ so that you can, uh, he can be able to search your heart and if there is anything that is wanting, he will enable, he will cleanse you of it and uh, you will be able to be in line uh, with his will. And uh, through that, we have been looking at the Beatitudes, beautiful messages from the Beatitudes. And today's message comes from the book of uh, Matthew 5, 14 to 16. Shall we read and uh, follow with your version? I'm reading from the new King James Version. This is a beautiful verse that I love. And it says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamb and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Hallelujah. Humanity has in itself no light, my dear brethren. Myself as Pastor Samuel Mwangi, I don't have any light in me. Apart from Christ, we are like unkindled temper, unkindled, uh, 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 unkindled. Um, uh, I can say unkindled um, uh, 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 light or um, uh, uh, unkindled lamb. 
yeah and kidon kado yeah yesterday we didn't have electricity in our place and what came to our aid is a light uh, is a candle we had the candle at home but without kindling it we can't get that light and humankind all humanity is just like this a candle without being kindled but when we turn towards the sun of righteousness when we come in touch with Christ, the whole soul is aglow with the brightness of the divine presence. Christ's followers are to be more than a light in the midst of men. They are the light of the world. When you accept Jesus, when you accept Christ in your light, in your heart, you become a light to the world you become like a kindled light you be a, a kindled lamb you become like a kindled uh, 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 candle you become a light which uh, brings light to the world angels of glory wait to communicate through you heaven's light and power to the souls that are ready to perish when you accept jesus angels are there to be with you so that you they can help you to shine that light to someone to share the good news of jesus christ to someone else dear brethren it is a high time that we call jesus christ to lay in our hearts it is a high time to change our that we call jesus christ to come in us so that he can change our lifestyle so that he can enable us to stand with Jesus to stand with him so that he can enable us to complete the work that he gave unto us remember when he was living he was speaking to his disciples but he was speaking to those disciples because he wanted us to get that message and he was telling them that when uh, go ye therefore to the whole world spreading the gospel teaching others about this uh, proclaiming of good news to them and making disciples go teach others what I have taught you so that they can become like you they can become disciples like you and when they become disciples like you they will be able also to go and spread the gospel and remember at the end of it all he said that when this gospel of the good news of Jesus will be spread to the whole world then the come the second coming will come so it is your duty at this moment to spread the gospel to the whole world. It is your duty at this moment to be the light of the world. Remember the scripture says that, that, that in the verse 15, Nor do they light a lamb and put it under a basket. There is no way you will receive Christ and then you leave without spreading the good news about Christ. When you receive Christ, you must spread that good news to others. You must give that good news to other people. When, 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 you, when you receive Christ, that light that is in your heart, you must take it to other world. You must share it to your neighbors. You must share it to your workmates. You must share it to your family members. You must share it to the, your enemies also. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. We do not show our light or we do not show about the goodness of Christ when we do not share this good news. We must share it and not only through our mouths preaching. Because let me say this, if you preach what you do not practice, it is in vain. It will make no impact. But the moment you will leave your word and then bring out that word, people will see that indeed this is a messenger from God. This is a messenger from Christ. And they will follow what you are saying. Dear brethren, it is a high time that we call upon Jesus. It is a high time that you uh, 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 come to join Jesus as a co-worker. Because you are invited not only to be filled with the Holy Spirit, but your personal sanctification to actively participate in shining truth, love, and righteousness of Jesus to a world whose time is running out. Think about your family, your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers. Ask God to show you who needs the light of Jesus in their life. Who should you pray for? 
and contact not only today but throughout your life who should you pray for? Because we should not pray selfish prayers to pray for ourselves only and for our families. We should pray for other people to receive the light that you have received. And when you do that, Jesus Christ will come to take us home. This world is not our world. This world is full of troubles. We are, we are, we are full of tribulation now and then. Someone has died. We have cried. We are filled with sorrow. Someone is sick. We have to contribute for the medical bills. We have to anguish with uh, that experience. Someone is fighting the other one. There is hatred there and here. There is pandemic sicknesses. And these are not things that God would like like us to continue with brethren this world is not our world we are sojourners Jesus has promised us a better land there is a land that is fairer than day and by faith we can see it afar it is a high time that we spread the gospel we shine for Jesus and when we shine this light that we have been given by him his coming will be hastened and when he comes with the angels, with, his, with the heavenly glory, I know you will have a lot of stars on your crown because you will have brought many near to, uh, to the cross and to the fold of Jesus Christ. And he will say, this is my son, this is my daughter. Well done for the good job that you did. May God bless you as you take this crucial decision of spreading the gospel and of preaching this right. And when you do that, not only through your word, but your actions, through your conduct, through uh, your speech, with your friends, your colleagues, your family members, when you do this, God will be happy. Remember, you cannot do this by your own. You cannot do this by yourself. You must invite the light in you so that when Christ comes in you, he will rekindle the light in you. And when he rekindles the light in you, you will be able to do what is in accordance to the will of God. Sorry, may God bless you and may he abide with you. Let us join for a word of prayer and as we pray, I know you have uh, prayer requests. May you submit them through faith to the throne of God and he will answer your prayers. I know he has a different uh, answers to prayers. He says yes, he says no, or he says wait for the right time. And because he knows what is best for us, he will answer us according to his riches in glory. Shall we pray? Our kind and loving master, we come before thy throne of grace. We thank you because Jehovah God, you are God. And you are the one who reigns over the kingdoms of men and even in heaven above. We thank you for you have been with us since the day we were conceived in our mother's wombs. We have seen your hands throughout our lives because even the breath of life that we are breathing today it is because of your masses. Because if you acted upon our um, actions and you acted according to our actions, we would be condemned to death, all of us, and we would be dead, O oh God. But thank you for the salvation that is found in your Son, Jesus Christ. And that's why today, we are courageous even to come before the throne of grace, to intercede for one another, to ask for forgiveness, and also Jehovah God to cry unto thee. Father, we want to thank you because of that opportunity you have given unto us. I want to uplift my dear viewer into the able throne. You know him, you know her, and you know what is in his heart. You know the prayers that he has posted before the throne of grace, you know his needs. May you provide him according to your riches in glory. The prayers that he has posted there, O Jehovah God, answer him accordingly because you know the best and you are God who is our Father. And there is no way a son can ask for a bread and you give a stone to him. Because we as human beings and sinful as we are, when our children ask us for gifts, we give them good gifts. What about you, God, who don't know any sin, who have not committed any sin? 
you will do even much more than what we do as human beings. And that's why we entrust our lives to thee. And we ask you that, Father, may your will be done upon our lives. May you be with us. May you be with our country. May you be with the leadership of the church. May you be with uh, uh, the world church of God. And Father, we pray that may you continue rekindling the light in our hearts so that we can shine to the world. And your coming will be hastened. We ask for you the relief in this world. The pandemic has shaken us. And Jehovah God, the whole world has been shaken. May you give us words in our mouths so that when people ask of what is going on, we will be able to testify of your goodness even in the midst of the calamity that we are facing at this moment. We thank you because of your grace and we thank you because you have heard our prayers. May you continue being with us and may you continue blessing us through your messages and also through answering our prayers in all the days of our lives. Thank you for listening unto us. Continue shielding us under your wings. And there we will be saved. It is through that wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we have prayed and given thanks. Amen and amen. May God bless you and may God be with you. May he remember you in a special way. May he not pass you by as he goes around to bless his saints. I pray that you may keep safe and may God guide you all through this life. In Jesus' name.